In this problem, a 2 inches diameter steel tube with a wall thickness of 0.05 inches just fits in a rigid hole. We are tasked to find the tangential stress if an actual compressive load of 3140 pounds is applied. Assume Poisson's ratio is 0.30 and neglect the possibility of buckling. Now to get a clear view of what is really happening here, let's say we have a steel tube that is being compressed by a certain load. Let's call this force L as of now. And by action and reaction to maintain equilibrium, this is also force L. And it tends to cause the steel to deform in a longitudinal direction. And it also causes the steel part to squeeze in the tangential direction. Knowing that the steel tube is fixed in a rigid hole, it offers no deformation tangentially to the steel tube. Therefore, there must be a stress to resist the steel bar from that certain deformation which we need to solve. So let's call this the stress that is tangent to the longitudinal bar. So first we need to solve for the longitudinal stress that is basically equal to force of 3140 pounds divided by, by the area of the steel tube, which can be ap approximated by solving the perimeter of the tube that is, that is pi times the diameter of 2 inches times the thickness of the wall, that is 0.05 inches, and we get our longitudinal stress. Solving, we get 3,140 pounds divided by pi times 2 times 0 0.05, we get 9,994 pounds per square inch or this is equal to 9,994 psi. Once we have our longitudinal stress, we can apply the concept of Poisson's ratio to be able to identify the tangential stress felt by the tube. That is the Poisson's ratio is equal to the ratio of the strain that is perpendicular to the applied force we call this tangential strain divided by, by the strain parallel to the applied force, that is the longitudinal strain. Now knowing that strain is equal to modulus of elasticity times the stress, and knowing that the steel bar is made of the same material, we can cancel E. So we have the Poisson ratio equal to the stress in the tangential direction and the stress in the longitudinal direction. Knowing we have the value for V, that is the Poisson's ratio, equal to 0 0.30, we can solve the tangential stress, knowing that the longitudinal stress is equal to 9,994 PSI. So tangential stress is just basically equal to 9,994 PSI times 0 0.30. So our answer before, multiplying it by 0 0.30, we get 2,998.5 psi, which is the answer to this second problem.